Libya, where floods are reported to have killed 2,000 people after a powerful storm swept through the east of the country. Widespread flooding and mudslides caused by torrential rain destroyed many roads and homes. Thousands of people are still missing. The eastern cities of Benghazi, Derna and al Maj are among the worst hit. Much of the country has been declared a disaster zone and three days of mourning have begun. Let's cross live now to Abdelkader Assad, a Libyan journalist who's based in Turkey. Thank you so much for joining us here on BBC News. Just bring us up to date with what the latest is in Libya. Actually, the latest numbers uh, of the fatalities of uh, Storm Daniel uh, floods, especially in Darna, Al Baida, uh, Jabal Akhtar areas in eastern Libya, uh, have actually been reported at 2,800 people uh, uh, dead and around 10,000 reported missing. Uh, and of course, the 2,800 are only registered in Darna, Darna city, which is uh, seeing the most appalling uh, impact of, of the storm, actually, because the floods uh, washed away entire neighborhoods uh, in the coastal city. Libya is a divided country with competing power bases. How does that affect the country and also how the, the country responds to these floods? Actually, the split between East and West is making uh, the response and the relief work is uh, uh, slow down and making it, making it a bit sluggish, actually, because until uh, this morning, now before I speak to you, uh, reports from Derna uh, are saying that there are no rescue teams uh, that have arrived uh, from uh, local uh, cities, from Tripoli in the west or other cities, to, the, to, to, to Darna, to the rescue of the people. And this is actually because of the lack of coordination between East and West and because there are two vying uh, governments uh, uh, in, in Libya. Talk to us also about these reports of these dam collapses. What's the news there? Actually, that made the, the, the number of fatalities go up uh, because two dams are located in the city of Darna, uh, Darna Valley area. Uh, and of course, these two dams, when they collapsed, they actually uh, made the, 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 the disaster worse for the, for the neighborhoods that are located on uh, either sides of the uh, of the area on the Derna Valley and the most actually the mo uh, the numbers uh, that are coming from that area are the most uh, in terms of fatalities and missing persons entire families are missing and people are started are starting to look for uh, help from inside and outside Libya of course we're waiting for relief uh, response from international community uh, it hasn't arrived yet and just briefly, to what degree can the authorities, the local authorities, cope? Actually, uh, local authorities are not going to be uh, efficient in, in, in quick response to this disaster. This is something that Libya hasn't seen before, and this needs some kind of expertise. So international assistance is uh, vital for Libya now. Abdul Qadar Assad, journalist based in Turkey, speaking to us on BBC News. Thank you.